on my face right now and that's because I'm going to be doing a first impression and demo of four products from Beauty UK Cosmetics. Now I am so excited to be trying these because I probably would have never gotten to try them if they didn't send them to me and it's thanks to my friend Stephanie from stephaniesluck.blogspot.com but she recently bought her domain name so congratulations to her that's like a big deal in the blogging world I just did it as well and it feels so great but yeah stephaniesluck.com and she reached out to me and said that they were a great company to work with and that I should contact them and I did and they were nice enough to send me four products that I got to pick out from their site. Now pretty much all of these are recommendations from Stephanie so thank you so much I can't wait to try them. The first one that she had me get, she loves this stuff guys, is the Beauty OK Prime FX Foundation Primer. Now on here it says that it's professionally designed silky smooth oil reducing formula. Use as a base to blend your foundation and enhance its longevity. Now I'll quickly run through all of the prices for you as well and you'll see that these are a very drugstore priced line and they're really really reasonable to be quite honest. This over in the UK, this primer would retail for about four pounds which over here in the States makes it around six seventy two. Now this next one I'm really excited to try. This is their Matte FX Foundation and on here it says the Pro Performance Formula effortlessly helps control shine and gives skin a soft matte finish for up to 12 hours. Now this does come in four shades. I obviously got the lightest one which is ivory but this does retail for about three pounds over in the UK and over here it would only be around five dollars. Next up is this Baked Blush in Halo and Stephanie really really stressed to me that I should get this and really it's not used as a blush it's more of a highlight she said but they do come in about two other pink shades and then one almost bronzy looking shade on the site but this is also around the four pound mark over in the UK which makes it about $6.72 here. Last but not least you guys know I love me some lip products so as I was on the site I could not pass up at least one so I did decide on the Beauty UK Posh Pout and Pout power to the purple and this is also a 2.99 pound product over there which makes it about five dollars here in the states and I will say I was a little disappointed when I got this the color looks really great and it is advertised as a moisturizing twist up tinted lip balm but when I got this it was actually kind of stuck to this lid and once I pulled it off the whole stick of product came out and kind of broke off so I was a little disappointed luckily I was able to push it back in but I did email the company and say Thanks so much for this stuff, but I wanted to let you know what happened with this product. And I actually didn't get an email back, so I was a little bit disappointed, but I am still really excited to try this, and the color looks awesome. I just wanted to say one more time, thank you so much, Booty UK Cosmetics, for sending me these. I am so excited to try them, so let's get into the demos. So now onto the primer. I do like the packaging. It pretty much just comes out as a typical primer does. I have about a pea-sized amount on my fingertips and I'm just going to work it into my skin. And as you guys know, I have very dry skin, so I was really excited to try this primer. Especially because I don't find a lot of primers doing much for my skin as far as the lasting power of a foundation because I'm not super oily and it's not really breaking down the product. But Stephanie really raved about this stuff, guys. She raved about it and said that it made the L'Oreal True Match Foundation work for her, which I didn't love either because it did cling to a lot of the dry places. But this is feeling very, very moisturizing. I also struggle with little laugh lines right here. And I know they're not anything major, but I do see the foundation settling in there sometimes so I'm wondering if this is going to help with that. Keep in mind I did start out with my CeraVe AM moisturizer but this is feeling wonderful. So moving on to the foundation I'm going to try to shake this up a little bit. I'm so excited to see the coverage of this product and it does come out kind of uniquely with this little spout and I love that because even though it doesn't have a pump it's still not going to get super messy. I'm going to be using a damp beauty blender for this because my brushes are really dirty right now and I want to see really what this looks like on its own. So I'm just going to apply, let's see. I'll, I guess I'll start with about that much. I don't want to go overboard with this product, but let's see the coverage of this stuff. Oh, it smells really good. Oh my gosh, it has like almost a floral scent. Okay, I really like that. So far, I'm really liking this coverage. My beauty blender is even a little bit too damp right now, so I think if you did apply this with a brush, you would get even more coverage, but I'm going to add a little bit more to my forehead and just kind of go around some areas one more time. I am absolutely <laughs> loving the scent. It smells awesome. And I feel like the color for me is really nice too. I see it covering up a little bit of the tan that I might have gotten, but all in all, it's really nice. 
So here's the finished foundation. I will conceal under my eyes a little bit and do a little bit of my eye makeup really quick before we move on to the lip product and that highlighter. But I really like that foundation. I can't get over the smell. It smells so good. I know I've probably said that a million times, but when something has that floral scent, I die a little bit inside. But yeah, I really feel like I got really nice coverage. And for the sake of this video, I'm not really going to conceal anything else on my face, but I really feel like I don't have to anyway. So I just put a little bit of the CoverGirl shimmer Sans Trio on my eyes. I also use the CoverGirl Bombshell Liner that I just featured in my last haul, as well as this Maybelline Mascara, this new Pumped Up Colossal one. And I have mixed reviews, so you'll probably be seeing this in a first impression on Instagram very soon. But onto this highlight, I'm going to be applying this to probably my cheekbones, maybe my inner corner. We'll see how it goes. And I'm going to be using my Sigma Large Fluff E50 brush. Now I'm quickly going to swatch this just because I'm curious and it does seem like a very almost champagne color. I was expecting it to be a little bit lighter but I'm really excited and it does even have a little bit of a pink tone which kind of surprises me but I'm just going to load up my brush with this and I'm going to use this little mirror and just apply it to my cheekbones. Whoa. So it is really pigmented. I'm going to have to try to blend it out a little bit. But that does add a very pretty glow to my cheeks. And I do love that there's a pink tone to it because it's not too overbearing. But I do really like it. I'm just going to quickly add it to my cupid's bow just a tiny bit and down the center of my nose for the heck of it. Why not? So I really do like this so far. It's a little bit different than anything I have and I thought that it would be a little less pink and if I would have known that I would have probably used it on my eyes as an eyeshadow as well. I think that would be a great, great option for this also. And just to test this out, I'm going to take my Sephora little pencil brush and I'm going to apply this to my inner corners. And last but not least, onto the lips. I have nothing on my lips right now, and they're not too dry, but they don't feel super moisturized either, so I'm anxious to see how this works, and hopefully it doesn't fall apart again. Like I said, this is one in Power to the Purple, and it's really a nice magenta color. It's not too, too purple. So let me grab a mirror, and we'll apply this. So there you go guys, this color is totally me and it does say that it has a mint flavor. So I am feeling a little bit of mintiness on my lips. It's nothing tingly, but it does almost taste minty, almost like a toothpaste or something. This does come in a twist up packaging. I just wanted to point that out. You do not sharpen this. And I will say that in the swatch online, even in the packaging, it looks like there's a little bit of shimmer or glitter in there, but really in a swatch and even on my lips that is not detectable at all. It just has a nice, almost glossy, satiny finish and I love it. Love that. So there you have it. These are all of my first impressions on these four products from the Beauty UK Cosmetics line. And I am really loving the look I have going on right now. I love the primer, love the foundation, love the highlighter, and love the lip product. So I'm very, very anxious to see how these wear throughout the day. So now that you have my first impressions, I'm going to wait until the end of the night and give you my little mini reviews. And we'll see how all of this held up on my face. I'll see you guys then. Hi guys. So it's about 10 hours later and I just wanted to quickly get on here to tell you my final thoughts as well as my mini reviews view of all of these products and I just wanted to do my lips first because I have not reapplied this yet for this video. I wanted to show you guys the stain that I had left over. I have reapplied once after lunch, um, you know, other than when I was filming and I really am happy with this. I'm very, very impressed with this product. Um, I have a before and after picture when I was eating lunch, so I have one of before I ate and then one of after and I was very, very pleased with how it held up so I'll include that here. freshening up the color, I still love this. It's one product in particular that even after reapplying throughout the day, my lips never felt dry. Did this add a lot of moisture to my lips? Probably not, but to me, with even some of the moisturizing lip products out there, I find my lips, after I reapply and reapply, getting a lot more dry, and this did not do that, so I love that. I've also noticed that this looks great when you just apply it, and say you apply it maybe in the morning before work or school or something, and then you have a long span of time before you eat. This is going to stay looking wonderful on your lips. I really feel that way because I tend to find that it wears in the inner parts of my lips because I blot my lips a lot 
lot and this really didn't move once I put it on but it glides on so effortlessly I just love that idea and I mean really can you go wrong with a color like this especially for summer it's fantastic moving on to the baked blush I do really like this as a highlight and like I said I'm going to continue using it and try it as an eyeshadow as well I think that would be beautiful but thank you Stephanie for recommending this because I really have loved it and I'm really interested in trying some of their other colors as well especially the pink ones because it does seem to have a glow to it and I feel like a lot of blushes now that are coming out for summer have that glow so I would love to try the other ones in this line the packaging is nice it's a little bit bulky but I love that it comes with a nice mirror and the product itself looks really pretty because it's you know that baked coloring and like the marbling almost but I am really happy with this and I totally see myself using it in the future Onto the foundation, I really, really love this stuff. I can't wait to play with it a little bit more, like when applying with a brush and things, since I did use my Beauty Blender today. But I am very, very impressed with the staying power. Stephanie touched on this and the fact that it looked great all throughout the day, and I really have to agree. It has not broken down too much around my nose, and one great thing is that it has not settled into the fine lines around my mouth. That's a pet peeve of mine, and this definitely did not do that. I'm very impressed with the coverage I have. Remember I didn't add any concealer onto my face and the coverage that I have right now looks really good. I can see a little bit of redness around my nose. My acne sc scarring is kind of coming out a little bit but other than that it still looks very very even and it still feels nice and not super heavy. I can't wait to see how this applies with a brush as well. I'm still going to play around with it but as far as the finish I do have dry skin so really when I apply a foundation the finish doesn't change too much for me but it did keep that nice satin finish that almost gave me a glowy look so I really really like it. Liked it. Finishing off with the primer, I do like this stuff. I have a little bit of a mixed review just because I don't feel like primers do a whole lot for me. It did make my skin incredibly soft and I did love that. I just have one little thing that I want to throw out there to you guys. I typically use only really primers when I wear hard to blend foundations because I feel like it does help the foundation blend a little bit more. But since this was a pretty blendable foundation that went on really smoothly on its own, I don't really feel like like these two go together at least for my skin tone but I will continue to try this with other foundations especially like I said the ones that are a little bit harder to blend and I think it's going to work wonderfully like I said it did leave my skin very very soft and I really have no complaints other than the fact that I don't use primers a whole lot on my dry skin so guys I hope you really enjoyed this look into the Beauty UK cosmetics that I did receive I am so so happy with the line and I am so so disappointed that I can't get my hands on it here in the States that's going to drive drive me nuts because I want to try so many other products from them. Please leave me a comment down below letting me know what you thought of this video and also give it a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also make sure to head over to my huge one year giveaway video. I am so excited for that video guys and I'm just really sending that out to you to say a huge thank you for all of your support, all of your amazingly nice comments. I will never take that stuff for granted guys. You made this past year one of the best ever. So if you're looking for that video it'll be linked down below as well as at the end of this video and just remember Remember that you can enter as many times as you guys want so even though you've maybe already entered make sure to go ahead over there right now and get another one in before Saturday I hope you guys are having a wonderful wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video bye everyone